it's Brianna K. Welcome to today's Extreme Declutter With Me video where I'm doing a massive closet declutter of all the clothes in our closets. I'm due with baby number three in May, so I needed to make room for some summer maternity clothes that I'd ordered. And since we still had snow in Cleveland in May, I needed to purge winter clothes and make all of our closets summer official. So get ready for an extreme clothing declutter today. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel while you watch. Click the thumbs up if you love decluttering videos on my channel. And throughout this video, I'm gonna share with you all of my decluttering tips. I just know there's stuff that because of being pregnant, I'm just not gonna be able to wear and I need to get all of the winter stuff out so that there's space for all of the summer stuff. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty extreme declutter right now. One declutter tip that took me a while to actually make this switch, but now I'm so happy that I did, was switch to uniform hangers. I bit the bullet and got everyone the same hangers on Amazon, and I'm so glad that I did, because it really helps keep the closets looking so much tidier. So the way I decluttered my closet was to think about the clothes that I could truly wear in my third trimester, and if they were summer or early fall appropriate, I kept them hanging. If they were a fall item that I couldn't wear, but I would still want to wear two years from now, I folded it and stored it in drawers so that it wasn't taking up the hanging space. I like to have the clothes that I wear the most frequently be the ones hanging, and then everything else folded and put away. Anything I decided I wasn't going to be wearing or wouldn't wear again in a year or two, I donated. All right, let's take a quick break from decluttering for a little try on haul. I just got my boxes from ThreadUp in the mail and I'm really excited to see how some of the pieces I ordered online actually look. ThreadUp is the largest online thrift store with up to 90% off of estimated retail prices. They have thousands of brands for women and kids clothing, including maternity wear. And thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you use my code Brianna, you'll get an extra 30% off of your first ThreadUp order. And the website is so easy to use because you can filter for brands, types of clothing, by color, and you can even search for new with tags. You'll have to tell me which one's your favorite in the comments. All right, so here's the first top I tried on. I was trying to find really cute pieces that could work for maternity or non-maternity, and I like how this one was really loose and flowy. So this Blue Noel top, tags on it, was estimated $45 retail, and I got it on ThreadUp for $11.99. Here is another top that I thought would be great Lots of extra room to grow with the belly. I tucked it into my pockets, actually. It's like a lot longer. Okay, and this is another free people. This is a dress, actually, even though I think it would look so cute as a bathing suit cover up, too. But I loved the little cutout details here. I feel like it's still gonna look cute as the bump keeps growing here, too. But truly, I feel like there was some really good, if you're into free people, there was some really good free people finds on ThreadUp. How cute is this? hot pink Jessica Simpson lace maternity dress, but they had so many good maternity office outfits and clothes, so I would definitely check that out. Her mama's working in an office right now. New with tags, estimated for $95 retail, and I got it for $24.99. And then here's the last dress I found on there. I thought this one was so cute. It actually has like a little bit of like sequin sparkle details. Cool change dress, new with tags, was $228 and I ended up getting it for 65. But okay, you guys don't have to tell me which of the outfits I tried on you liked the best down in the comments below, but I'm seriously so impressed. I feel like I hit a thread up jackpot with everything I tried on and the fact that everything was new with tags and at such a discounted price. I would highly recommend checking out ThreadUp, especially if you're looking for maternity clothes because I really did, I hit like the jackpot. So I'll have it linked down in my description box below. And don't forget, use the code Brianna for an extra 30% off of your first ThreadUp order. Thank you. 
One of the other things that's brought up I didn't mention earlier that I thought is cool. They'll send you this cleanup kit and it already has a label on it so you can just put all of your clothes if you're decluttering in this and send it to them so that they can recycle your clothes and keep them out of a landfill. And now we're moving into my little girl Presley's closet. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time, but I just knew that we'd end up. You took it, you, you took it, took away my loneliness. So I know it, I, I know it. You're making me wholehearted. Together, two together, together it's always better. I don't want to be parted. You're making me wholehearted. The first thing that I did when I decluttered this closet was pull out the baskets and any clothes that were not summer clothes and the more you can get rid of, the better. When I declutter, I always sort everything into different piles. It helps me keep organized. So I had some clothes that Presley had outgrown that either belonged to her cousin Reese or clothes that I give to my girlfriend who has a little girl. And anything that could be donated, I had a pile for that. And stuff that could be tossed either in the trash or recycling had a pile. And I also had some toys and things that needed to be put back where they properly belong. I love using drawer organizers to keep drawers neat and tidy, especially for the kids' clothes. So I tackled organizing and straightening up these drawers. And again, I'm pulling out any clothes that were not summer clothes to make more space. I you turn everything around. I will always remember it. How you got me off the battleground. Here's everything that I decluttered out of the closet. So I kind of have all of her pinks and neutral summer stuff over here. And these drawers were already pretty good, but these are like her stockings and her bloomers. And then I just put any fall or winter stuff that she hasn't grown out of yet here. And this is her dance stuff and swim stuff, which some of the swim stuff I think I actually will have to declutter, but I just need her to actually try them all on again this year. But her size three swim stuff is just a little bit big, so I'm going to keep the twos just for now, but I probably can get rid of a lot after she tries them on. And then this space is all cleared now, and I just hung her fall neutral pink stuff that I think she'll still fit into this year. And this isn't like ideal, but I just kind of put then some of her other fall things here and just some of them like the blue. Turn up. 
You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby If you have small kids, one of the ways I declutter their closets is to keep their seasonal clothes within reach. So right now, any fall or winter clothes, I put away in drawers or hung them on the higher closet racks. And I only keep the summer clothes out for them to pick from. I'm sure all mamas can relate to coming into your kid's room one day and seeing all the clothes strewn everywhere. So this way, there's only summer clothes that might need to get rehung if they decide to have a clothes party. And I know in this video I'm doing a massive clothing declutter of all of our closets, but there is nothing wrong with starting small, especially since life can get really busy. If you spend 10 to 15 minutes a day decluttering a few drawers or just tackling one section of a closet at a time, you can have a lot of decluttering done over the course of a week or even a month. So never feel like you have to be this extreme. I just like to do it all at once and give you a ton of extra motivation for when you declutter. Another tip I have for you if you're decluttering with me is take a before and after photo. I love sharing my tap to cleans or tap to declutter, tap to organize pictures over on my Instagram. I'm at bits and free over there. But you all help keep me accountable when I have to share those pictures and it gives me a lot of pride when someone says, great job, or that looks so good. So don't ever be afraid to show off your efforts and I would love to say the same thing to you. So make sure that you tag me so that I can see your before and afters and cheer you on. Because truly, I love seeing how you tackle projects around your home. It's so motivating to me. So I feel like the closet is much more functional for Landon now because just his summer stuff is down here. And then all of the winter stuff is moved up top. I was able to get rid of that huge pile of stuff. And now, oops. and now his drawers are just a lot neater. Especially where like his shorts and t-shirts are all at in there. It feels so amazing to have just all my clothes decluttered for summer and all the kids clothes done as well. I would highly recommend doing this again, even if you need to break it up over the course of a week or a few days, it just helps your mental headspace so much to have a closet refresh and see everything organized. And don't forget to tag me, take that before picture and the after picture and tag me when you declutter with me. I'm at bits of Brie over on Instagram. And don't forget, use the code Brianna for an extra 30% off of your first thread up order. All right, well clearly this was a huge declutter. We have four bags full of stuff that I'm purging and it feels so good. I promise you if you do this with your clothes, your closet, your space, it just makes such a world of difference. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next one. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just